hi friends let's continue with our spring rest crud application so what i've done in this video is i've installed the mongodb in my machine and it's up and running and i've created post rest api so that the user can create a subscriber using this post api in our database so this is the only one api i've implemented i'm going to execute that and show the results let's see the code example now so how to install the mongodb in mac machine so these are the four steps i used to install and start and stop the mongodb so i used brew to install the mongodb and currently you can see it's already started and running in my machine now let's see the code example in the left hand side if you see the package i have controllers dto the data transfer object and model class which is our domain class which is subscriber and then the repository if you look at the controller we have the subscribers endpoint and there is a request mapping with post http method and we have created a method called create subscriber so the user can provide the subscriber details if you see the subscriber details id first name last name and email it's a very simple pojo where the user can provide these details so i'm using lombok to avoid boilerplate code like getters and setters so once the user is triggering post endpoint so he'll be providing the subscriber detail as a request body and now we are going to convert this subscriber dto into the model class using model mapper and this is coming from model mapper package so now we can look at the model class which is a subscriber so this is our domain class where we are going to store store these objects into the database this is like a, a table for example if you want to compare with mysql so here i have the document and this will be the primary id so it will be generated automatically so you can see all these annotations are coming from spring data so we talked about controllers dto and model class so how are we going to store the model the domain objects into the mongodb that's where the mongo repository helps us this is coming from the spring data and it takes what model class we want to store and what is the id so when i extend this interface you're going to get default crud methods for example you can see all the basic required methods will be provided the implementation for these methods will be provided by the spring data this is one of the big advantage of using spring data i don't have to write any queries to perform these basic operations so here i'm going to use save because we are using post http method we have to create a domain object into the database that's where i'm using save so i've already started the application application is running in 8080 the mongodb details are configured in application.yaml file so it's running on 27017 so let's create a subscriber now so i'm going to use postman you can see i'm going to use post method and the url is localhost 8080 where my spring application is running and this is the endpoint subscribers and this is the request body so first name last name and email i don't have to provide the id because id will be automatically generated by spring data when i click on the send button we are going to send this request body to the server the spring boot server and it will be creating this object inside the mongo database so you can see when i click on this i'm getting 200 okay that means it's been created let's see the mongodb results now so robo 3t this is a client for mongodb so where i can connect to the mongodb and see all the collection details so you can see here there is a test database and there is a collection called subscribers and we created one single subscriber object inside the mongodb so you can see first name last name and email address and we can see the id it is is generated automatically by spring data so in this video we successfully created one single subscriber inside the mongodb using post api so we can continue in the next video hope this information is helpful all the best for your career please subscribe to individual channel thank you